Welcome to our first of uh, hopefully a few more, but this is, this is where we're going to begin with the Callings Dreadnoughts. We wanted to give you an idea of what each of the top woods available on a Dreadnought from Callings may sound like, their similarities, their differences, the differences in tone and volume and projection, and why would you choose a Sitka top? on a D2H, that's their dreadnought, and the two refers to the fact that I'm gonna be doing rosewood dreadnoughts today. H obviously is for herringbone. So this is a dreadnought two rosewood, H herringbone, and this has Sitka spruce for the top. Sitka is um, very commonly seen and used on acoustic guitars. Um, we know that it's a very flexible top wood. It will break in relatively quickly compared to some of our others. It will offer most players exactly what they're hoping to hear, warmth, some punch. I'm gonna start with a, with a flat pick and strum and do a few different things with each of them so you can get a sense of what they each can offer. This is the Sitka top. quickly. Really, really lovely balance between the low E and the high E and everything in between. I get everything to, to stand out where I need it to. It's never going to be the loudest guitar in the room and I'm totally okay with that. As I said, this will break in um, if with consistent playing over the first six months to a year, you'll really notice a difference between the sound of a new guitar and as it as it adapts to your playing, especially. These have these guitars have a really great memory. They they adapt to a player's style and how much force you put into it. I'm not gonna drive this top super hard with a pick because I'm just not that kind of player. So Sitka for me is where I would feel most comfortable. Let's move from the D2H to its uh, sibling, it's a D2HG with the German top. So same guitar, still with the beautiful East Indian rosewood back and sides, and this now has a German spruce top. You can see right away that it's quite a bit lighter in color. They get the European spruces, whether it's Italian, Engelmann, being very, very uh, vibrant and, and whitish in color. German, same thing. Um, these really have a sweet, quite a musical sound to them, um, often thought of as being somewhere in between the Sitka that we just heard and what, what's coming up next, which is red spruce or Adirondack spruce. <laughs> These are all brand new guitars, so they've not been played to the point where you might you might have an old favorite that you're used to. This is the beginning point of each of these woods and guitars. Again with my flat pick. Sustain.
That's the German top, so that's the D2HG. Let's go to the Adirondack. Again, all of these guitars, same model, and they'll each feature Collings modified V neck profile. Some of them we'll see in the 1 and 11 16 nut width. Some of them we have in the 1 and 3 quarter inch nut width. So the Collings D2HA, which is A standing for Adirondack or Red Spruce, you'll hear people refer to both. Um, we will see this from Collings in a uh, baked top and non-baked top. This is uh, for the purposes of today. I'm, I'm doing all non-baked top. So this is the Adirondack Spruce. Um, always pretty recognizable by the, the grain, the width between the grain lines is always quite a bit wider. This is a really stiff piece of wood. When I hit the guitar harder, when I drive the top or excite the top, as we want to say, I'm able to get more volume and quite a bit more punch if I need it. If I'm a bluegrass flat picker, which I am not, if I were a bluegrass flat picker, this is what I'd be going for, for sure. I can just get more volume. It's hard for me to talk over this guitar because the volume is there. Lots of volume variety though. I get quite a bit of a dynamic range out of this guitar. H-A, the Adirondack. I'm going to go one more in our shootout of four uh, and add all of the letters to the end of the doctor's name. It's the D2HA-T, their traditional guitar. And the T, one of the main things I notice, cut through saddle. Sonically, it's not going to have uh, quite the same zing on the top end that the, the non-traditional guitars have. The T-series from Collings really s sounds a little, just a little mellower on the top end for me right out of the gate. <laughs> That's the D2HAT, the Adirondack Spruce Traditional. So those are four very, very, very closely related dreadnoughts from Collings, varying mainly on the top wood. Um, and you can read about them all on our website. And we have each of them available in stock. So call or email if you have more questions, because that's the most fun part is uh, I get to play them all you get to ask questions about them. So it's, uh, it's always our pleasure to talk to folks about, about these guitars and, and answer questions if you have any. Please get in touch with us. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you.